The Gallic Wars were a series of military campaigns waged by the Roman proconsul Julius Caesar against several Gallic tribes. Rome's war against the Gallic tribes lasted from 58 BC to 50 BC and culminated in the decisive Battle of Elysia in 52 BC, in which a complete Roman victory resulted in the expansion of the Roman Republic over the whole of Gaul. While militarily just as strong as the Romans, the internal division between the Gallic tribes guaranteed an easy victory for Caesar, and versing Hatorix's attempt to unite the Gauls against Roman invasion came too late. The wars paved the way for Julius Caesar to become the sole ruler of the Roman Republic. Although Caesar portrayed this invasion as being a preemptive and defensive action, most historians agree that the wars were fought primarily to boost Caesar's political career and to pay off his massive debts. Still, Gaul was of significant military importance to the Romans, as they had been attacked several times by native tribes both indigenous to Gaul and farther to the north. Conquering Gaul allowed Rome to secure the natural border of the River Rhine. The Gallic Wars are described by Julius Caesar in his book Commentary Ida Bello Gallico, which remains the most important to historical source regarding the conflict. Political background As a result of the financial burdens of his consulship in 59 BC, Caesar incurred significant debt. However, through his membership in the First Triumvirate, the political alliance which comprised Marcus Licinius Crassus and Pompey, and himself, Caesar had secured the proconsulship of two provinces, Sais Alpine Gaul and Illyricum. When the governor of Transalpine Gaul, Metellus Sella, died unexpectedly, this province was also awarded to Caesar. Caesar's governorships were extended to a five-year period, a new idea at the time. Caesar had initially four veteran legions under his direct command, Legio VII, Legio VIII, Legio IX Hispana, and Legio X, as he had been governor of Hispania Ulterior in 61 BC and had campaigned successfully with them against the Lusitanians. Caesar knew personally most of these legions. Caesar also had the legal authority to levy additional legions and auxiliary units as he saw fit. His ambition was to conquer and plunder some territories to get himself out of debt, and it is possible that Gaul was not his initial target. It is more likely that he was planning a campaign against the Kingdom of Dacia, located in the Balkans. The countries of Gaul were civilized and wealthy. Most had contact with Roman merchants and some, particularly those that were governed by republics such as the Aedui and Helvetii, had enjoyed stable political alliances with Rome in the past. The Romans respected and feared the Gallic tribes. Only 50 years before, in 1009 BC, Italy had been invaded from the north and saved only after several bloody and costly battles by Gaius Marius. Around 62 BC, when a Roman client state, the Arveni, conspired with the Sequana and the Subi nations east of the Rhine, to attack the Aedui, a strong Roman ally, Rome turned a blind eye. The Sequana in Arveni sought Ariovis to serade and defeated the Aedui in 63 BC at the Battle of Mage Tobrigar. The Sequana rewarded Ariovistus with land following his victory. Ariovistus settled the land with 120,000 of his people. When 24,000 Haruds joined his cause, Ariovistus demanded that the Sequana give him more land to accommodate the Haruds' people. This demand concerned Rome because if the Sequana conceded, Ariovistus would be in a position to take all of the Sequana land and attack the rest of Gaul. They did not appear to be concerned about a conflict between non-client, client and allied states. By the end of the campaign, the non-client Subi under the leadership of the belligerent Ariovistus, stood triumphant over both the Aedui and their co-conspirators. Fearing another mass migration akin to the devastating Cimbrian War, Rome, now keenly invested in the defense of Gaul, was irrevocably drawn into war. 